This is the Burris Thermal Rifle Scope 50 millimeter. One of the really neat things about this unit is it's super simple to operate. So there's only two buttons on it. We've got our power button and a click wheel. Click wheel has a clicking button, button and also you can rotate it. That'll be for navigating the menus. If you pick one of these up, you will notice very, very quickly how easy and intuitive it is to operate. Uh, all the menus are in plain English words. There's no symbols or anything kooky like that. So dial down to exactly what you need. Hey, I need a zero, dial down to zero, um, change my X and Y axes and get myself sighted in. Uh, we were able to get this thing sighted in uh, very, very quickly last night in the dark, having never, um, have never bore sighted or anything like that beforehand. So it is very, very intuitive and easy to operate. Other than that, it is running off of the same 400 by 300 sensor as all of the other burst thermal units. Uh, that does give you a little bit of an increase in thermal resolution over the, the 384 by 288 style thermal optics. The other nice thing is having that 50 millimeter lens really does buy you some magnification. So the effective magnification on this guy is about 3.3 to 13.2 X, whereas the uh, BTS 35, the Burst Thermal Rifle Scope 35 millimeter is more like 2.9 to 9.2x. So more equivalent to your 3 to 9, more equivalent to your, your 3 to 12, 4 and a half to 14 type of, type of scope. This one's going to offer you a little bit more field of view. This is going to offer you a little bit more depth of field. Uh, so if you're using short distance, need to pan across a wide field, maybe the 35 is a little bit better for you. But if you need to go longer range or you want to zoom in up close on your target, the 50 millimeter might be the better unit.